Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new, my name is Louisa, you are watching Ludo C'est la vie and for today's video we are going to do a Curl Smith line review. I know it's been a while, it's been a minute, it's been two years exactly, almost to the day you guys, I mean I don't remember what day I decided to stop using Curl Smith but it's been two years since I stopped using Curl Smith and um, I'll get into it in a second but Yes, it's, it's, it's going to be an interesting video. All right, before I get into the mid of this video, um, if you are enjoying the content of this video, please, you guys, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. This helps me more than you can imagine. It really ranks the video uh, up in the YouTube algorithm and it makes it available for more curly girls out there to see and maybe help them in their journey. Actually, if you know friends who uh, need help in their curly hair journey, feel free to share my channel with them or maybe this video if you think this video can help them in their journey. Finally, if you see yourself coming back for more videos, <laughs> feel free to subscribe to my channel. All right, my loves, with no further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so a little bit of backstory uh, about my relationship with Curl Smith. Back in 2019, I was mostly using Curl Smith's line of product in my hair and I absolutely adored them. Um, and then in that summer of 2019, I went through a little of a situation with my highlights. They were a little bit messed up and I had to go ahead and color my hair over and there was a little bit of a mess. And this was June, July 2019, I think, if I recall properly. It's been a while. It's been two years. Um, the summer went well, but by September, October, I noticed that my long hair, because back then my hair was almost covering my boobs, and I'm still working today to get back to that length, and it's not happening, uh, but anyways. <laughs> so by September, October, I noticed a shift in the way my hair was um, taking in products. At that time, I was mostly using Curl Smith's uh, line of products, okay? Uh, my hair became very hard to handle. Uh, they were not retaining any moisture. It was it was turning into a frizz ball looking very damaged and I started to get very frustrated. So I decided to go for a big chop and I went from this length to that length. So I decided to stop doing highlights in my hair. I decided to stop using Curl Smith's line of product and um, and 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 I just did that for two years. Now, fast forward two years later, time has passed, my hair has recovered. I'm still working on getting that length back, but we'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> um, but I decided to get some highlights for my birthday, which was in August. And uh, I also decided to give Curl Smith another try. So I went on their website and I was very excited about the new products that they had and also that cool quiz that they have you go through so that they can recommend you the best products for your hair, right? So I went ahead and did the quiz and I was recommended about four or five products. Um, I went ahead and ordered them and I received the box maybe three or four days later. By the way, the packaging of the box was very minimal, very simple, which I really like. I got the Moisture Memory Reactivator, the Multitasking Conditioner, free in one conditioner, activator. I got the Curl Defining Styling Souffle, the Intense Treatment Serum. So now that I had my new products, you can only imagine how excited I was because you guys, although I was vexed with them, I really loved this line of products. I went ahead on a day one, I washed my hair because I didn't buy any of the shampoos. I'm not big on shampoos like that. I washed my hair with my Kinky Curly uh, shampoo that I love so much. And then I went ahead and applied their uh, multitasking conditioner. Now, let me talk about this conditioner for a second. I am very excited about this conditioner. I don't remember this conditioner existing back in 2019. It is a three-in-one conditioner, like I just said. You can use it as a regular conditioner to detangle your hair, and it's for damaged hair, having highlights and high porosity hair. I consider my hair damaged all the time. <laughs> you can use it as a live-in conditioner. Uh, you can also use it as a dip 
conditioner okay this reminds me a lot of one of my favorite drugstore product the Garnier Fructis one minute hair mask that I love so much but it would be more of a high-end more natural version of that product which makes me so happy inside so you can only imagine how excited I was to try this product so back to my bathroom I applied it all over my hair after using my shampoo and I went ahead and detangled my hair using my favorite Lulu Celavi detangling brush that's available in my merch link in the description box uh, the detangling was very easy process very smooth I had absolutely no problem detangling my hair then I went ahead and rinsed my hair uh, I have to say that after rinsing my hair my hair still felt like a little bit heavy okay usually after rinsing my hair off from a conditioner my hair feels lightweight I, I like my hair to feel lightweight but it's still a little bit moisturized here my hair felt like there was still product in there nonetheless I wanted to use it as a live-in conditioner so after rinsing out all the product all the water I went back with a little bit of it on the second half of my hair and distributed the product all over I then put my hair up on the bun and went ahead and took my shower. Once I got out of the shower, I used my Lulu la Vie microfiber towel, also available in the description box. And I um, went ahead and took out the excess water and the excess product. Then it was time to style my hair. I used their um, Curl Defining Styling Souffle. Now, let me talk about this uh, product for a quick second. I remember from 2019 not being in love with the uh, styling souffle gel, right? Uh, but it did work wonders on Ella's hair. On my hair, it tends to be a little too heavy and a little too moisturizing. It's been two years, so I wanted to give it another try. I have a different styling technique. I'm using my products in a different way. I wanted to see how my hair will come out after using this product. So I went ahead and uh, styled my hair using the styling souffle. Once I was done, I uh, again used my Lulu Celavi microfiber towel to take out the excess product and I went ahead and diffused my hair. Now, I'm gonna show you a clip of my first impression after drying my hair. All right, my love, this is what I am working with after um, diffusing my hair. So right now I'm in a rush, I have to go to work, I have a full day of booking. So I don't have time to wait for my hair to fluff up and film again. But what I'll do is that I will film when I come back from my bookings which will be towards the end of the day and we'll see how my hair looks like. Um, right now I have to say it feels like my hair is weighted down it's over moisturized. Uh, the curl souffle gel is usually not working for my hair um, but that live-in conditioner reminds me a lot of the three-in-one from Garnier Fructis one minute hair mask that I like so much. Um, I would like to try it again with a different gel, like either my Without Advanced Climate Control or my Bioterra gel that I love so much. Um, but right now my hair feels definitely feels weighted down. And um, yeah. so I'll see you guys later today at the end of the day to show you how the aftermath of everything. Okay, see you in a sec. And here's my reaction after my full day of work. Hi my loves. Okay, I am back from the city. I had a full day. I'm exhausted. I'm about to go and walk the dogs. Um, but I wanted to come here real quick. It's currently 5 p.m. on the dot. Uh, and I wanted to show you what my hair looks like. So this result right here is what I wish I had after I diffused my hair. Okay, I have high porosity hair, so my hair gets drier and drier as, as the day goes by. This morning and for the majority of the, of the day, I want to say until like 2.30 or 3 p.m., my hair felt uh, like it had moisture overload. It, um, it looked almost wet for the majority of the day. Um, and thanks to my high porosity nature, um, after a certain time, I think it was after around 3 p.m., my hair started to suck in more of that extra moisture and I 
finally started to see some fluff in my hair. Um, I Right now I'm liking this result, but my hair looks a little bit too greasy to my liking. Uh, this is the back. I don't like how this part here, this fine, the fine part of my hair, this looks like what I call a rat tail. It looks dirty. It looks greasy. Um, this is my very wavy, almost straight, and you can see how it looks dirty. I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it because amazing camera makes everything everybody everything looks beautiful um so this part of hair is nice and, and moisturized and the curl definition stayed i don't have a lot of frizz um i'm happy with this part but this part you guys this is not i can't even feel it in my hair i don't know how tomorrow's gonna look like we'll see um i don't even know if i'll need to refresh because there's so much moisture We'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings to us. All right, I'm going to go walk the dogs with Ella by the beach. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, now moving on to the next day, which was, well, today, this morning, actually. Uh, we are on a day two, and I am about to go and take my shower. I am taking a good look at the stage of my hair to decide what am I going to do. First of all, what am I seeing in my hair? There was a lot of frizz. I've lost a lot of curl definition. I've had better day twos. Trust me, I've had better day two and day three and even sometime day four. I got to, I'm, I'm getting to that level, you guys yes I am um, but Christmas was not really getting me there this time so I had to decide what to do I went ahead and damped my hair with my spray bottle um, I then detangled my hair and when I felt my my hair I definitely could feel the products I could feel the product in there so I knew that there was more than enough product to keep my hair hydrated the day. I then um, applied a little bit of the moisture memory reactivator on the second half of my hair but when I say a little bit it's like four pumps on one side and four pumps on the other side and mostly on the second half of my hair and I was really curious about this intense treatment serum I know it's too heavy for my hair because when I opened it Oh, the smell of Christmas. When I opened it, when I unboxed it, I looked at the, the texture of it and I was like, this is not gonna, it's, it's gonna be too heavy for me. But when I read at the instructions on how to use it, you have two ways of using it. And I love when one product is multifunctional. Is that English? I don't know. So you will use it on damp hair. You'll apply this on the dry ends. Uh, if you have, like me, high porosity hair, your ends are going to be dry for until you die. This is just how it is. There's no way going around it. On top of that, if you have highlights or if you bleach your hair, let's, let's, let's not even go there. But you know what I mean, okay? So you would apply this on your dry ends, uh, on damp hair, and then go ahead and um, diffuse or hair dry. Another way you can apply this is, I think it's also on, on wet hair. But you would leave it in overnight as a treatment and then rinse it out in the morning. And if you have really damaged hair, if you just bleached your hair, if you fried your hair, whatever your case is, this will help with the damage and the elasticity and the dryness. So I'm very curious about this. I want to try it as a treatment, but I also wanted to try it today on the tip of my hair to see if... Um, if it would help. So once I was done applying all these products, I went ahead and sectioned my hair, applied the Widat Advanced Climate Control as a gel to lock everything in, and I went ahead and diffused my hair. This is the end result. Now, what can I say? It is the polar opposite from what I had yesterday. Uh, by that, I mean that my hair is definitely drier and I have a lot more volume. Now, as far as curl definition, it is there because, well, that's the nature of my hair, but it could be better. Um, I have a lot of frizz. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, 
but I do have a lot of volume. I am really liking the volume. Um, what I can tell you is that I definitely need to work more with the products and find that sweet spot, that right balance that will give me enough moisture to sustain my hair throughout the day without weighting my hair down. Um, now, let's go over the products and let me rate them for you. I'm gonna start with the Multitech Skin Conditioner. This one I'm gonna give a 50 out of 100 or a five out of 10, let's do that. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Um, I still have to work with this product more to understand how it works and how to use it properly on my hair, but it has great potential. Uh, what I'm not too happy about is that the second ingredient is castor oil, castor seed oil, and if you guys have ever handle, handle castor oil, like I mentioned probably earlier, if I didn't edit it out, it is one of the heaviest, most saturated oil out there, right next to, to coconut oil. And it's not ideal for fine, wavy to curly hair. And I could definitely feel it after rinsing the conditioner out of my hair yesterday. So... Um, I think that it would be wise to stay away from my roots and concentrate this product towards the second half of my hair uh, and the tips of my hair. I am excited to use this as a deep conditioner, as a conditioner and as a live-in conditioner and I think it could potentially be a, a step up from my favorite Garnier Fructis one minute hair mask with a better composition list with products that are higher end and that are very, um, very close to nature, I wanna say. Now, the intense treatment serum, I think I'm going to have to do a video just for that product, um, just to show you guys what it can do for a fine wavy to curly hair. Uh, right now, I don't, I used a little bit on the ends and I don't really see much so I don't think I can give it an, uh, a score okay so I have to do a video for this one let me know in the comment section section if you want me to use this in a video just so you can see how to use it and what it could possibly do for your hair the next one I want to read is my curl defining styling souffle this one doesn't work for my hair. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. It's too heavy. It doesn't give me enough hold. It weights my hair down. It doesn't matter how, what dosage, how I apply it. I don't, I am not a big fan of this product. Uh, it's too heavy for my fine wavy to curly hair. Uh, but it will work wonders on my daughter's uh, three, three, je sais pas moi, three A, three B, type of hair she her hair will suck it in and use the moisture and and it will work wonders for her so I'm not too mad at it because I know I can use it on Ella oh and one thing I mm, forgot to mention about this is that the packaging is not right for this type of product we're dealing with a they call it a souffle I call it a gelé whatever French word you want to use it this is not easy to grab out of the bottle like this it's a jar is not the best packaging for this product uh, this product needs a, a bottle with this type of opening okay this is what I need for this product so that's another reason why I give it a three is because I don't think the packaging is right for this substance with for this texture um, the last one I'm gonna read is my favorite, I'm keeping the best for last, is the Moisture Memory Reactivator. This one gets a 10 out of 10. It gives me moisture, it gives me shine, my hair loves it. Uh, I can use it on the day one with a gel. I can refresh on the day two, it's light enough. Um, it's not gonna weight my hair down, I just have to put a little bit less on day two, a little bit more on day one. I love this product. Now, as far as my experience online, um, it was fun though. I really like their quiz. I, I'm not too mad at the product that they uh, recommended I use. Um, 
yeah, I, I like the experience online and I recommend that you try going through their website to buy the products. I wish I could tell you I have a discount, but I wear, I don't have anything, sorry. <laughs> but I recommend that you buy through their website and go through their experience of doing the quiz and all that. It's, it's fun. Um, the price though, it was a little spicy, I have to say. We're talking higher end products. We're talking more organic products, cleaner composition. So you have to pay for that. For these four products, plus tax, plus shipping, I think I was around $135. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put the price right here once I, I find my receipt. Um, but yeah, it's a little spicy. I think products go between 30, uh, 25 to $35, depending on what product you're using. So, you know, it's your higher end product. All right, so all in all, I'm definitely gonna start using the Moisture Memory Reactivator more often. I am definitely gonna work that multitasking conditioner and find out the right dosage, the right way of using it, and I'll come back to you with an update. I am going to try this instant treatment serum um, and see what it does for my hair, if that's something that could work for my hair. If not my hair, would it work for my daughter's hair? Um, and then I think this, this product deserve its own little video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Lastly, the curl defining souffle, definitely not for me like I mentioned earlier, but we'll use it on my daughter for sure. So in conclusion, I want to say that I have at least two products, maybe three out of this line that I am going to be using on a regular. Um, and I'll definitely come back to you with an update on uh, on, on how I'm using this product. Um, all right, my loves, I'm gonna go, this video's over. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you are enjoying my videos on a regular and see yourself coming back for more, you know what to do, the subscribe button is right there. And feel free to share this video with a friend in need. I'm sure they'll be happy. Okay, I hope so though. <laughs> all right, my loves, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy, have a beautiful life. Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs> hey, c'est la vie. <laughs>